today. From Empower Field at Mile High in Denver. It's week seven of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Denver Broncos taking on the Detroit Lions. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the Detroit Lions and the Denver Broncos. Again, everyone, Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at this Bronco team. The losers their last time out. A big early third down here for this defense as they look to hold on and force a field goal try. the gun now on third down and this is going to be incomplete we talk all the time about playmakers on now for the field goal try here's eddie pinheiro from the right hash this from 45 yards away this is up and good from pinheiro and they are on the board but still trailing it's seven to three Kicking unit onto the field now as they're looking to at least get three points out of this drive. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. A third down situation coming up in the third quarter in this defense. Hoping to turn that third down into fourth. Again, he'll drop to throw. Man open. It's St. Brown. He's got it. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Lions are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of... Oh, a dream scenario here as we get back into the action. It's a first and goal with the ball at the one-yard line. And he'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. Jason Cabinda, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Lions have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. They'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. And they weren't scared to let it fly. Here we go. 
Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Today, from Ford Field in Detroit, it's Week 8 of the NFL on EA Sports. the Detroit Lions taking on the Atlanta Falcons. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Today we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here between the Atlanta Falcons and the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. And they've lost three straight here, and it goes without saying, I guess. A pretty big early test for the defense coming up. What can they dial up here to try and thwart this third down situation? Ready. 
They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. This offense has been sustaining a nice, long, successful drive here. Now they're looking to finish it off. First and goal in the red zone. Here's Swift. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Second and six. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Flush to his right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get six. Time to get you back in here. Big play has him not only in the red zone, but looking at a first and goal from the three. Swift. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Good work there, holding them out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Looking to throw. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are an extra point away from drawing level. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense. And he loses the football a second time. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Well, remember, he had a fumble earlier in this first half and got saved, but no such saving here. It's a turnover. Now, can this offense muster a late second quarter drive to break our tie? Let's see. They'll have to be pretty efficient with their time here. Watch the clock. Eluding the pressure right. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Now, I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Down inside the 10. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the 1. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. They'll run with Swift. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Lions will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to...
A big play coming up for this defensive unit. They're down, but just by a bit on the scoreboard. Can they get this third down stop in the third quarter? On third down, here comes Swift. And he is going to have a Lions first down. It won't be by much. Time to jump back in. Opening drive, third quarter. And this offense has it in the red zone, first and ten. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there. Of course you're going to give it to him. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Lions take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. getting good now fourth quarter tie game this defense looking for a huge third down stop they'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw and this is going to be intercepted picked off by Casey Hayward and the Falcons are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic. Well, this one's getting good now. Fourth quarter, tie game. This defense looking for a huge third down stop. It's caught by Hooper. And he is out of bounds, but not before, is it? So this offense, they've made their way into the red zone now. They've got it a couple yards inside the 20 at the 18, first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. He'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown! Amon Ross St. Brown from 13 yards out. And the Lions have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. So the task for this offense is preserving this lead. It's a tight game late. And the defense also, keep in mind, they do have three timeouts. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. We get back to this one with the offense trying to put the finishing touches on a possible victory. Essentially just needing a first down to end it. The defense, though, they do have all three timeouts. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. 
They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the eight. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And the Lions are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Swift going to try up the middle. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. DeAndre Swift, a three-yard. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for Detroit, they get a much-needed victory to get to 3-5 and five on the year. And they'll get another home date next week as the Saints will come to town. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they fall a game under the 500 mark at 3-4 and four through seven games. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Tennessee Titans. So for Charles...